Ian, have you seen organizations support upskill and include their people in their change efforts really successfully to make or help people become enablers, not blockers in this digital transformation process? You're on mute, sir. <laughs> mute bingo. We knew Damn, it was going to happen. I did it. I did it. It was going to happen. Um, okay. Uh, ha, 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 ha. Uh, yes, is the answer. And what I said uh, silently just a moment ago. I thought you were commenting on Nick Andrews' comment about us uh, being a boy band. That was also a great comment. So thank you, Nick. Um, he thinks we should move in sync, too. Exactly. So we, we, we'll do that in one moment when we get back on. Nick, we need uh, a name, by the way. That's the TikTok. That's right. That's right, um, and and so uh, so a thousand times yes to to what Emma just said, um, and yes, by by dumb luck and and sort of virtue of having uh, several courses on LinkedIn Learning. So that's not a plug; it's just sort of the context for this. Um, but uh, I was I was lucky enough to have some courses early on on RPA, introducing RPA and RPA AI and cognitive tech for leaders um, was the second course. And so by virtue of it being on a large platform, it gets seen by a lot of people. And what LinkedIn has done, which I think is so interesting, is, is they've created these sort of learning paths. Um, one of them is on digital transformation. And it's it's like 24 hours of, of online learning. Um, by the way, there's a delay in us talking and it going live. So over here, I just watched myself do this bop and it was distracting. I'm, I should not dance on live streams. Um, and so, so LinkedIn created these learning paths, one on digital transformation. And so by virtue of having one of the courses in that path, I get to see enterprises that are assigning this learning path to their teams. Uh, and even more so, I get to see sort of the depth to which they assign it. So who within the team, it's not just going out to like operational heads or C-suite or just one individual who stumbled on this and found it interesting and, and is passionate about learning about it. They are investing in both the subscription for the, the platform access, but then um, investing in in dedicating a tremendous amount of time for their teams across the world. I mean, I'm seeing healthcare and pharmaceutical and banking and insurance, you name it, uh, companies all over the planet, Africa, in um, the Philippines, in the US, in England, in Germany, et cetera, um, take these courses. And that's really exciting because that's that's encouraging. It shows that they understand that having a baseline understanding, having a shared vocabulary and nomenclature to this digital transformation adventure um, is useful. They see that it's worth their people's time to spend dedicating to to learn this stuff. It's also an investment in those people. It's giving the sort of the worker of the future and the future of work the skill set they need to be relevant and to to continue to grow their career. Uh, but the key still is, you know, you can give people the, the 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 training manual, but if you don't have mandates and support, and I don't mean like mandates as in sort of an, an order, but mandates as in we're all in this together, we're going to do this, and it's important enough that we're investing time and resources, and we're going to measure what the outcomes are. Without that, uh, and the associated change management and communications and stakeholder management, then then you basically just got a lot of people's hopes up. And you got them somewhat excited about the art of the possible, but then you just dash those hopes and you do a frankly poor job of, of executing on them. And I see that happen all too often. And that's what OG was referring to. Uh, so I have hope in the fact that an investment in education across all components of an organization and then a commitment to follow through with applying that knowledge now and that that really that that hope, that excitement to, to do something new and different and better. Um, we'll see more and more enterprises legitimately commit to meaningful digital transformation. That's a hell of a lot more than just buying licenses of the next coolest, you know, digital assistant labor cloud augmented self-learning autonomous, whatever the heck.